Hello, very warm welcome. Driver ratings for the Eiffel Grand Prix. All 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10 for their weekend. Lewis Hamilton matched Michael Schumacher's 91 wins as he wins the Eiffel Grand Prix. I recorded this once and I had to record it again because someone was playing music outside in the car and it would have been copyright, so I've had to re-record it. Yeah, all 20 drivers covered. We rate them out of 10, and it's total random order, so let's go. And no favouritism, I give an honest rating. Carlos Sainz, 8. Solid performance, no mistakes. P10 in qualifying, P5 in the race. He's got the upgrades for McLaren, but he wasn't really happy all weekend. I mean, he finished fifth in the race, but we hardly saw him. So it was a pretty good effort by Carlos Sainz. Pretty event, non-eventful, really. Just a great result, even though he wasn't too pleased. Lando Norris, five. Now, there's going to be a lot of fives because we had a lot of retirements. P8 in qualifying, big issues in the race. He was running really strong in the race, could arguably have fought for the podium, but he started to have big issues in the race, eventually retired. And, yeah, it was not... Back-to-back -back retirements for Norris. Did he retire in Russia? No, I think he just finished outside the points in Russia, actually. But, um, yeah, heartbreaking for Norris. Daniel Ricciardo, 10. First podium since Monaco 2018. P6 in quali, P3 in the race. He was on his tyres. The safety car came out for Norris, and that really helped him because Perez was on fresh tyres, closing him down. But... Phenomenal weekend by Daniel Ricciardo. I thought we were going to see a shoey on the podium. He didn't do one. Esteban Ocon, 5. P7 in qualifying. On for solid points. Retired from the race. Hydraulic issue. There was a lot of retirements, which is kind of strange for Formula 1. Normally, the cars are so reliable nowadays. Sergio Perez, 9. P9 in quali. P4 in the race. Very close to the podium. Solid drive once again, and let's hope he gets a seat in 2021. Um, he was on the fresh tyres, safety car put pay to him probably getting a podium. Nico Hulkenberg, 10. He returns on short notice. I mean, he's literally having a coffee with a friend. He gets called up, straight into qualifying, no practice at all, qualifies P20, starts last, ends up finishing 8th in the race. A fantastic return for Hulkenberg. Lance Stroll was ill. Hulkenberg comes in for him and puts in a world-class display and should have a seat full-time. I mean, that's twice he's proved himself. Well, three times, really. But he didn't get to do one of the races. Valtteri Bottas, eight. World-class pole position lap. Destroyed Hamilton. He brought his Russia form into the weekend. And even at the start, he was super aggressive on Hamilton. And I loved that by Bottas. That's what we need to see more often. Uh, then he locked a tyre up, going down into turn one. Driver error. Had to pit. And then he lost all performance. Retired. Um, yeah. And that is the championship over for Bottas. Hamilton has won it. Lewis Hamilton, eight. Now... I give him eight. He won the race, but like I mark these drivers as I see him eight. But I beat him in qualifying, which is very rare for Hamilton. But Lewis Hamilton is an F1 legend. He will go down as a legend. He equals ninety one wins of Michael Schumacher, um, and he put the pressure on Bottas and forced Bottas into a mistake, and then led. Basically, after that, he is a legend of Formula One. Sebastian Vettel, 2. Spin in practice, 3. P11 in qualifying at his home race. And then again, he spun in the race, avoiding someone into turn 1. I think it was Giovinazzi. But yeah, Sebastian Vettel just wants to go to Aston Martin. P11 quali, P11 the race. Charles Leclerc, 8. Now, he was a qualifying star. He qualified P4, but the race pace was not there. I mean, quality star, P4, sensational. Struggled in the race massively, but still finished seventh. And he beat Sebastian Vettel all weekend. Roman Grosjean, 10. 
Now, yes, I give Roman Grosjean 10. His first points of the season, he finished P9. Kimi Raikkonen went through the gravel trap. A stone hit Roman Grosjean on the fingers. And he's, he was literally driving in pain. Had a massive, like, blue finger. And, yeah, he was driving through the pain barrier. And he scores his first points of the season. So, yeah, I give Grosjean 10. Kevin Magnussen, 5. P15 quali, beat Grosjean. P13 in the race. A mistake through the chicane cost him quite a few positions. Giovinazzi, 10. Another one like Roman Grosjean. I thought Giovinazzi was superb this weekend. He beat Kimi Raikkonen all weekend. Superb. P14 in quali. P10 in the race. And he probably would have got higher if not for the safety car. Because Giovinazzi pitted right before the safety car. So he kind of lost out. Kimi Raikkonen, 2. 323rd start. A record. But he had a horror qualifying P19. P12 in the race. And Giovinazzi destroyed him all weekend. I'm going to be be very interesting to see if Raikkonen stays on because he says he does Formula 1 for a hobby but he can't be enjoying not finishing in the points. I don't know. He's a world champion and he can not even get in the points. Danny Kvyat, 6. His race was ruined by Alexander Albon. He was on for good points. He missed the chicane. Albon cut across him and basically knocked his win off. And Kvyat had to do the whole lap with no front wing. So, yeah, his race got totally ruined, Kvyat. Gasly, 8. P6 in the race. Driver of the season. P12 qualifying. P6 in the race. And he has massively improved as Pierre Gasly. His confidence was shot to bits. And now he's becoming driver of the season. Won a race. And he's putting pressure on Red Bull to get his seat back. George Russell, 5. P17 quali um, keeps his record going of outscoring his teammate in quali. But yeah, in the race he got hit by Kimi Raikkonen and yeah, had to retire the car. Suspension. Latifi, 5. Very average, no mistakes. P18 quali, P15 in the race. And a bit like Carlos Sainz, hardly saw him. Max, 9. Basically, Max is performing wonders, but he hasn't got the car to compete with a Mercedes. He is Mercedes' only threat, really, but he can't keep up with the Mercedes because Mercedes are just too good. But once again, P3 in quali, P2 in the race, a very lonely race. Basically, just races by himself, does Max. Albon, 5. Now, Albon did retire. If he didn't retire, I probably would give him a lot lower. Qualifies P5. He should have been P4 at least. He had a bad start. He flat spotted the tyres. Had to do an early pit stop. That put him out in traffic. He got bruised by Max all weekend. Retired with a power issue. Power unit issue. And he had contact with Kvyat. Just swiped across him. Got a 5 second penalty. But he retired so didn't really have to serve that penalty. But Albon is massively under pressure. If you look at him during his interviews, his body language, his demeanour is down. And Gasly's performing. It's a role reversal. Gasly's confidence was shot to bits. Albon's performing. And now it's turned. Gasly's performing. Albon's shot to bits. I mean, it's shocking by Albon. It's, he's nowhere near Max. He's seventh in the championship. It's just not good enough you got to say it how it is. It's not good enough. He's in a good car, yet he's not delivering. He always seems to be in the midfield fighting. Have we covered everyone? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there we have it. Eiffel GP done. Qualifying reaction, race reaction, driver ratings. We go on, we have a week's break, and then we go to Portimao. In Portugal, a new circuit, and that should be a very quick circuit. Played that circuit on project cars. It's a very fast circuit. Might be difficult to overtake, though. Only down the main straight, you can really overtake. Um, so we had a couple of 10s. Ricardo getting his first podium. Nico Hulkenberg 
doing wonders, Giovinazzi and Grosjean. Usually Grosjean scores very low in these, but when he does good, I mean, phenomenal by Grosjean. I mean, he's got a podium before at Nürburgring and P9 with a damaged hand, damaged finger, brilliant. So there we have it. Comment down below, we'll always reply. And there we have it, Eiffel GP done. And yeah, we've got a week off now and then we go to Portugal. Races coming thick and fast. Portugal, Imola, Turkey, Bahrain, Bahrain and then Abu Dhabi to finish. Not many races left and F1 should really hold their head up high because they've fixed the racism. The racism like things are all in sync now and to even get a season on with Covid is spectacular. There we have it, driver ratings done. Adios, bye bye.